Well, Mark, a nil-nil draw against Dover tonight. Arguably a disappointing performance in a result tonight. What's your take on it? Yeah, frustrating evening for us. It's obviously a game that um, you know we're expected to win, and um, you know we need to pick up points. And uh, ultimately, it's one that's ending in frustration. Dover made it a real tricky evening, and like we always knew they would. You know, they're they're a good side. They're you know very rarely do they get opened up. They you know their, their games are usually tight. But that's no excuse. We've got to find a way. We've got to be brutal with ourselves. Um, and in a game like that, we we need to make the most of any opening or opportunity because that will change the the game. The longer the game goes on nil nil, the, the stronger they get. The the more the counter attack threat becomes, uh, uh, you know, a little bit, you know, become a little bit more nervous, become a little bit more anxious because we know how important it is to try and win, and we we know, you know, how anxious the crowd will get because they want us to win. So we've got to manage that. You know, we've got to, we've got to make sure that we, uh, like I said, make more more of our openings. Um, we've got to be have a little bit more conviction in that final third because if we do get a goal, the whole complexion of the game changes. Other than that, it, it, it becomes a frustrating evening. Um, but like I said, we've got, to, we've got to learn the lessons from that and we've got to move on quickly. Of course, after back-to-back -back defeats, three one defeats, looking to respond back at home against, obviously, bottom of the league, Dover would have been the ideal way to get a win tonight, but it wasn't to be. Yeah, it, w it wasn't to be. Um, and this game's gone now. It's chalked off. We're going to have to look at it, learn from it. Um, we had to try and we knew we were going to have the ball more a little bit uh, you know more this tonight and uh, we had to try and embrace that and be brave and bright and, and we were at times but like I said in that final third sometimes it's that moment of magic you're looking for we couldn't quite get it today uh, but the important thing is we kept a clean sheet and like I said we're a little bit off at the moment uh, we've, we've had some changes tonight we're trying to evolve we're trying to grow as a group um, and it's just trying to get that balance right because we're we're always wanting more, but sometimes wanting more, we, we've got to make sure we don't forget what we were and what we've done so well as well. And it's just trying to get that balance and act and get the best out of the group. But there's a young group out there again tonight, and they, they were brave and bright at times, just lacking that final bit of quality in the final third, and that's been sadly missing for the last three games. So now, you know, we're, we're looking for character, we're looking for people to stand up and make that difference. But also we've got to embrace what we were and what was going well, and we've got to keep that going, but then continue to add to that. Uh, nights like that, we've got like tonight. We've got to learn the lessons from it, and um, you know, try try and get stronger moving forward. I've touched on it there. Obviously, it's a very young squad, a very young team that was out there tonight. Four changes made, including Sam Matthews straight in for his debut. Yeah, I thought Sam done very well. Again, I thought he was bright. Um, you can see that he he wants the ball, and uh, you know, he was trying to make make openings, and um, he wanted to receive the football, and, and that, that's what we want. We you know, we want to play with the ball more. Um, but we need to get, get used to it and we need to get the right type of players on, on the pitch. Sam's certainly one of those. Um, I thought so to get 90 minutes out of him, that's probably a little bit longer than we would have liked, but we were enforced into changes. Um, I said we've worked hard the last 10 days um, and we've always got to reflect and be brutal on ourselves. And you know, maybe I worked them a little bit too hard because there was quite a bit of cramp out there. So they're giving everything, um, you know, 10 days off. Uh, maybe we never, maybe I never got it quite. Maybe I never got it quite right. Um, so you've, we've always got to be honest with ourselves. We'll always be honest with ourselves. And uh, a couple of the enforced changes, we probably had players coming off that we probably didn't want to have coming off at times when we didn't want them. Um, but, you know, like I said, that's only an excuse and we won't, we won't give ourselves that. But look, a clean sheet um, is a positive to take. And we will look for positives because we are so hard on ourselves and we be other. But we've got to equalise that now. We've got to go and take some of these, you know, take these big boys on now. And we've got to come out fighting. Because of course, one person who wasn't involved today is Mo Stiller. Obviously, he's away from the club due to family problems, so I'm not going to touch too much on that. But the boys have come in. Giles Phillips, captain tonight. I thought, you know, defensively we were okay. Yeah, I thought defensively we were strong. We had to withstand like a long throw, balls going in our box. Like I said they got a real counter attack threat. They were a real, real tough team to play against. And uh, like I said you've got to make the openings to make your game plan stronger. But you know, the longer the game goes on, the more frustration it gets for everyone, players and fans, and everyone involved. Um, but like I said, that's an, uh, another experience we got. We got to manage better. Um, we, yeah, we were missing Mo Silla. Uh, you know, our captain Lewis Cancelo is still missing, and we've got uh, Kevin Locko on the way back. And they're three of they're the three most experienced players in the group. Um, and sometimes you probably lacking that experienced voice out there just to sometimes settle people down, let them know it's gonna. You know, we can be okay. Like keep being brave, keep wanting the ball. Um, which we, 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 you know, we huffed and puffed, we huffed and puffed, but we know we've got to be better. Because it felt like there were bright moments in the game, obviously good passages of play, but maybe the final ball wasn't quite there tonight. And obviously I think Jacobs had one cleared off the line, so there were, you know, the different sort of games those go in. Yeah, definitely. But 
like I said, that was missing, that, that bit in the final third. And you need that moment of magic in games like this, just to open it up, get, get the confidence flowing, take the tension out of the game, take the pressure out of the game, get ahead. Um, but we never we never done that. And that's why the, the game, you know, become petered out and become frustrating in the second half. Um, so, yeah, look, we, we, we've got to be better. We've got to make more of our openings. And like I said, it was too many ooh moments, like, you know, cross, shot, you know, over the bar. And, and like I said, we can we can only fix that ourselves. We can only keep practicing and uh, keep working hard. Remember what we were. Try and evolve and get better. And um, you know, stick together because you know we're in a little tough tough time at the moment. But football can change quickly. Of well, course, an important moment before the game. Obviously, the remembrance of the old shot bombing 50 years ago. A touching moment for everyone involved in the local community. Yeah, absolutely. And uh, you know, we we made the players well aware of that this 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 week of. What happened in our community around our football club, um, and I thought the club celebrated uh, a really tough time for the for the community. Um, you know, we paid paid our respects, and, and I thought the club done themselves proud again um, tonight in, in in doing that. And uh, we just wish we could have got the three points um, of what would have been befitting of the of the evening. Of course, a note on the fans tonight, 1,400, a good turnout from them. Yeah, it, it was, and that makes it even more disappointing that we haven't been able to reward them, and uh, I get the frustrations at the end. Um, you know, we're, we're in a tough time at the moment, and we're going we're gonna to need them, um, and, you know, hopefully we can, we can get, them, get them cheering and get them happy sooner rather than later. Of course, Rex on Saturday, a big game, long journey, but an opportunity to really bounce back from this. Yeah, definitely. This is why we play. This is the beauty of this league. This is why we want to play. In uh, in those games, they're they're proper big, you know, games that the the players should be looking looking to play in. That's why we work so hard. So yeah, look, we can equalise tonight if we go and put on a good show down down at Wrexham. Um, so one one we got to look forward to getting back out on that pitch and putting a few things right. Are you in with a shot? Look below for more information. Click here for the next video. Click here to subscribe. Oh!